Hello, my name is Leslie and this is for assignment 9, Purpose of Performance-Based Assessments. Performance-Based Assessments is a positive alternative to standardized tests to measure children's development and learning. It is also called Authentic um, Assessment or Authentic Performance Assessment. Uh, the purpose of the performance-based assessment is that it's directly related to the child's development and achievement because they measure a child's performance of a real or designed task relevant to desired learning. Um, three performance-based assessments I'd use in my classroom are portfolios, games, and interviews. I'd use portfolios in my class because it's an easy way to keep track of every student's work and to see how they have progressed over the school year or even if the student is falling behind. Um, portfolios are valid and reliable um, because we get to see the student's growth from the beginning to the end of school. So if the child is falling behind, we'd be able to see and show the parents where and when it started happening due to the child's portfolio and the work in the portfolio. Um, I'd use games in my classroom because I'd be able to understand the ch child's progress with the skiller's concept and thinking abilities. Games are valid and reliable because it allows the children to have fun and children learn more when they're having fun. Um, I'd write down the teams that had won and who was on those teams that won to like what assignments or what I had taught in that class that day. So that later on, if the parents like, oh, did they understand this? Did they understand that? That I'm able to show the parent that while we performed a game that the student was able to learn something new or that they understood the topic of that day. So that's how it could be valid and reliable. Um. I would also use interviews to you to see if my students understand what I have taught in class. Interviews are valid and reliable because we as educators make sure our students understand before moving on to the next topic. Just like for instance, at the end of every day of every like at the end of the day, you always ask your students, Oh, hey, what did we learn today? Or what did you guys think was interesting? And that's how you know your students understood or grasped the concept of what you were teaching that day. Um, during the interview, I'd write down, I'd write down the students who participated, which will give me an idea who understood the topic and I can keep it for reference. So if a parent comes and asks me, oh, did my child participate this day or did they understand that this topic? Because at home, like they're struggling that way, I could show them that their child did understand it in school and vice versa. Thank you.